Hi, my name is Christy Holman. I am the director with Cropper County WIC, and today we have our um, IBCLC, which stands for International Board Certified Lactation Consultant, Deanna Groove, and we also have our breastfeeding peer, Holly Kaczynski, here today to talk about the breastfeeding promotion and support that WIC offers um, every day. But August is Breastfeeding Awareness Month, so we've been celebrating all month and we wanted to talk about some of the supports that we provide. Um, Deanna and Holly, how does WIC support breastfeeding? We have a really substantial program. Prenatally, we offer Breastfeeding 101 education to all of our moms, whether they have decided to breastfeed or formula feed. And that's a one-on-one -on -one that they can ask questions and show concerns if they have any. We also have a class that's available through Vita, and we have Holly, who is our breastfeeding peer. She actually is available to anyone prenatally or after they've had the baby for breastfeeding questions. Holly, what about after delivery? Um, what types of support. services? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So after um, our mothers have delivered their baby, um, I just will be checking in on them, giving them little texts and calls to remind them that I'm there, asking them if they have any questions or any concerns. Um, I give them, we have a peer phone that I take home with me in the evenings and on the weekends. They are always free to reach out to me with any questions or concerns we have. And we also share with them um, the Appalachian Hotline, which is a 24-hour breastfeeding hotline, um, that if by chance they're not able to reach me, um, they can reach out to them 24 hours a day, holidays, weekends, anytime. Nice. So we also have infant weight checks. Um, I work with WIC on Mondays and we do consultations. So typically if we have a mom who has delivered the week before, one of our goals is to try to get them into the clinic to make sure the baby is gaining adequate weight. So that is a service that we provide. We also actually have the Ohio Health Mother's Milk Drop site. We do workplace support and help moms navigate through that process of when they return, how will they be able to continue lactation. We also have a referral program for other agencies. Holly, do you have anything else to add? Um, yes, and we also have a loaner pump program through the WIC office. Um, often insurances will provide um, breast pumps, but if for some reason they're unable to, or they're not functioning, or they um, are able to unable to meet the needs of the mother, um, we have a program where we can loan them a breast pump so they can continue to breastfeed as they return to work. Yes, I think that's a really nice addition because the insurance pumps just are not designed to provide enough stimulation for um, a mom full time. So if we have babies who are premature, if we have babies who are having feeding difficulties, there's where we can help them sustain their supply until the, the babies have to learned how to breastfeed appropriately. Uh, one thing that I would like to note is we are here for the community. If you are a breastfeeding mom and you need support, please do not hesitate to contact our WIC office because we are willing and able to do what we can to help you continue to nurse. We also have through the health department, um, it is actually through the Ohio Department of Health, but we were awarded a grant for workplace lactation support. And that is something that we have been working on for the past three years. It is to provide education to not only you as a mom, but you as an employer. So it is the law. Moms need to have support. And it, by law, is a necessity. So if you are unsure of how to get that started, and honestly, many employers don't know where to start. I am here to help you. It is a free service, 
and we have templates through the Ohio Department of Health, we are more than willing, I am more than willing to help you navigate that because it is a necessity for a mom. She has to pump in order to keep her supply going. So if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the health department. We're happy to help. We are located in the health department out here at 1520 Isaac Beale Road. Our phone number is 419-562-5859, and you can call us anytime with any questions or issues or concerns.